In part 1 of this video, we begin looking at finding dimensions on a rectangle when we're given the perimeter and the area. Again, in this problem, we're looking at a rectangle which has a width and a length. And we're told the perimeter is 22 inches. We found out the formula for perimeter is 2 lengths plus 2 widths is equal to the perimeter, in this case, 22. We're also told the area of this rectangle is 24 square inches. An area we get by multiplying the width by the length to equal the 24 square inches. We can solve this system of equations by solving the perimeter equation for a variable and plugging that value into the opposite equation. Let's solve for d L. We can start getting the L alone by subtracting 2W from both sides. 2L is equal to 22 minus 2W. Finally, to get the L alone, we'll divide both sides by 2. And when we divide each and every term by 2, we get 11 minus W for our value for L. We can then take this expression and replace the L in the area equation with 11 minus W to give us W times 11 minus W equals 24. To get this equation started, we'll distribute the W to get 11W minus W squared equals 24. From here, we could solve this equation using either the quadratic formula or factoring, if it were equal to 0 first, or by completing the square. However, when we're completing the square, we don't like the W squared to be negative, so it might not be the best choice in this case. So let's make the equation equal to 0 and either use the quadratic formula or factoring. We can make it equal to 0 by subtracting 11W and adding W squared from both sides. This makes the W squared positive, and we have 0 equals W squared minus 11W plus 24. We could solve this by either factoring or using the quadratic formula, but let's see if we can factor it first. Factoring gives us W minus 8 times W minus 3. And now we can set each factor equal to 0 in order to solve our equation. Adding 8 to the first equation tells us our first choice for W is 8, and adding 3 to the second equation tells us our second choice for W is 3. We still need to find the length, which we can get from that length equals equation off the perimeter. The length is equal to 11 minus W. If W were 8, that tells me the length would have been 3. Or 11 minus the other width, 3, tells us the length would have been 8. Again, we see that the width and length are simply switched, and we're simply talking about the same rectangle turned on its side. This rectangle is 3 inches by 8 inches long. It will have a perimeter of 22 and an area of 24. When we are given the perimeter and the area, we set up two equations, one for each of them, and then we solve the perimeter equation for a variable and make a substitution. 